Good afternoon and welcome to the quarter-finals of the domestic cup round on Game of the Day. Game of the Day. So, first, we've got Blackburn Rovers, who are at home against Aston Villa. Aston Villa now against Blackburn Rovers. The Aston Villa kit for the new standard still not ready yet. So they're turning up in a standard pink away choice change. And um, we'll see how it serves. And Blackburn coming, coming forward first time. Shoots! Oh, and that's a good save there by Brad Guzan. Oh, he's really strong there to knock that away. Villa now coming forward, Gabby Abong the horse shoots and it's a goal, 1-0, that's a great finish, calm, cool as you like, chips Brad Friedel, no chance there and it's 1-0, Villa taking the initiative. Oh Blackburn here trying to move forward, David Flitcroft knocks it against Damien Dunn, he's still Flitcroft, quite, quite, can't quite get to it but he's strong in the challenge. And he shoots. Oh, it's well defended in the end there by Ron Vlaar. Who's on Blackburn? Shoots. Oh, that's close. Just over the bar. Has it skimmed the bar? Oh, just over. Oh, the player's gone over the bar, though. Goodness me. Must think, must think he's a rugby. Must think he's a bloody rugby ball. And Blackburn, oh, you're not going to score from that far out. What is he thinking? Villa now in possession, moving the ball here. The dying moments of the first half, knocks it across. Oh, that's a lovely ball there, the left winger moving in here. Can he control it? Yes, he does. Sets himself up, the Blackburn defender tries to block, unable to shoot, and he nestles it past Friedel. I think, oh, that's precise, is that? Goodness me, he's just right into the bottom corner there, but... but you shouldn't be getting beaten near post as a goalkeeper like that. It's just, you expect better. Blackburn here though, coming straight back. Oh goodness me, he tries to control it, but it's easy for Brad Guzan to get to. Villa coming forward now, they're looking dangerous. Always connected with that well. Oh, has the player touched it? He has. The referee's given advantage play on those shoots and he's cannoned off the crossbar. He put some real venom into that shot, but it's just smashed the bar, bobbles out harmlessly. Blackburn looking not to be three down here. Blackburn breaking on the other end though. Corner ball comes across. Tries to control it. Shoots. Oh, and it's wide. Or has that been saved? It has. Corner again. Oh, not quite able to connect with there, but it's a good ball. It's still live though. The ball is still live. Can Blackburn cause some problems here? They're in a promising attacking position. The player moves on side. Can't quite win the ball there. The Villa player can't get to it though. Moves, shoots, he's blocked it well in the end. Very good block by the Villa defender there. And he's knocked it onto the post of all things. Good, that's a, that's, that is a game saving shot. And Blackburn come forward again, and I think the keeper is to tuck in a deflection. And oh, I don't know if the keeper was involved in that. He's touched the Villa defender again. He's having a storming game here, but, but Blackburn just constantly coming forward here. He's pressure after pressure, corner after corner. Will something give? I'm going to be saying Blackburn are really fighting with a real heart in this game. He's really, really put the pressure on Villa in the second half. Two mistakes in the first half, though, might have cost them too much. Ball's brought over again. Shoots. Oh, and he's missed it. Oh, and the player doesn't look very happy with that. He looks mortified with himself as Villa play the ball out from the back. Oh, but he's missed it. He's missed it. Tried to play out from the back, but the player's lost control. 
and Blackburn are back in here. Knocks it around. Oh. He's not connected with that one. You must say, time running out. You think that their, their, cup comp, their cup run is all but over here. Villa, oh, that's a bad challenge. And his advantage play on here. Player moved on side. Blackburn come through. Damien Dunn, that's a good goal. He's hit that hard. Underneath Guzan. The goalkeeper should probably do better, but there's a chance now for them to get back in. It's a dying moment of the game. Can Blackburn get back into this? Plays the ball. Kind of keep hold of it. He's got to skip past the defender, but he's missed it. It's cleared, and that's full time. Villa. Villa through to the semi finals then with a 2 1 victory over Blackburn. Deserved overall, I think. Deserved the victory. Well, would you say, I mean, the first half, it seemed to be. The first half, it seemed to be that Aston Villa just sort of made their chances pay. But you've got to say the second half, all Blackburn. I think so. Yeah, two half, definitely. Yes. I know it's a cliche, but uh, <laughs> we live for cliches. Don't we? We do. That's what it's all about, man. The cliche life. And <laughs> anything else to add to the game? Um, I think Blackburn threw it away to start with. I mean, throwing the ball to the other team to go on to score. Chance well taken, must be said. Credit where credit's due. Thanks very much. <laughs> um, but overall, like a hair-raising experience. No, no, <laughs> leave the lockdown do alone. Leave me lockdown do alone, it's not my yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. My hairdresser's fault, you didn't cut it before the start. Right, so moving on. Moving on. Let's, moving, let's move on from that. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Moving on, we've got Burnley now against Sheffield United in the second mm -hmm. tie of the day. Burnley hosting Sheffield United today. Burnley, well, let's 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 be fair, they must be the favourites for this one, but it's probably going to be a very tight game. Burnley now moving for Rodriguez. Early chance. Shoots. Oh, I don't know if that's deflected or not. Either way, it's a good chance. Oh, so it's a, it's a shambolic attempt there. Sheffield United now trying to move the ball out. Here comes the Burnley. Burnley shoots. Oh, he's not really got hold of that one. He's really skewed it. Oh, lovely play. Suspect flick. But lovely play in his shot. Honestly, that was like attempted murder. He hit it that hard. The goalkeeper with not even enough time to get hold of the rod to defend that. That would have been an easy goal if it had hit that. I think it took everyone by surprise. Burnley coming forward again, though, really piling on the pressure. It's a real high press they're playing today. Shoot! Oh, and it's missed again. So moving forward. It's Sheffield possession, though, it's moved. Michael Tong plays it forward. Sheffield United now on the break. The Burnley defence here is not organised. Well, it's like watching Burnley under 11s. This they're really not in the right places. Lines up for Billy Sharp. Shoots. Oh, and it's well saved there by Tom Heaton. Knocks it away. Burnley now come forward again. He's got hold of the ball there. Very impressively. Oh, he knocks it. He knocks it back. Goodness me, he's dropped into that false nine position as Chris Wood. And it's really paying off here. He's knocked it across. Oh, and the player's mad at himself. But look, the Burnley still going forward and three forward, and Paddy Kenny tips it away. They really need to capitalise on these chances. Burnley really throwing away these. They could have been, they could have been high, they could have been high and dry here. Trying to two of them trying to take it around the Sheffield defender, who's doing a good job of hurrying and closing them down. Forces them wide, and he can't quite finish. Potentially last chance of the game. This has all been Burnley towards the end. Shoot! Oh, and he's put it past Paddy Kenny. Kenny didn't even move it. it that hard. What a goal there from midfield. Oh, that's lovely by Boyd. Nestles in, and that's got to be now the end. sat down. So we sat down. We sat yeah. down. We need to be sat down after that, to be honest. Don't we? We do indeed. Seat. Really, yeah. yeah. Well, in, at the end of the day, he's uh, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Sorry, we've got a cat at the window. It's just, yeah, that's probably about the highlight of that game. If what you'd probably say, poor play, both both teams there, maybe just a case yeah, of a... I think Burnley deserved the win in the end, but they dominated the uh, chances. But it's really, really dreadful finishing. Dreadful finishing. Well, really, really, yeah. you got, must say, pretty poor. Uh, yeah. But the, the goal at the end. Nice to see it seated in the back of the net. 
See what I did there? Seated. <laughs> oh, I suppose I do. I suppose I do. But no, very, very good finish. Uh, must say though, the play is uh, Rodriguez uh, scoring the goal. Is he had a similar situation in the first half where you could accuse him of second-rate murder, trying to absolutely the, the way how hard he hit that and how he actually flew over the stand oh, and attacked and attacked the uh, the player. Incredible, it's such force. But uh, maybe no, desperation no, from the player to get a goal. Desperation for the goal, but it paid off in the end. And uh, Burnley go through. Sign of the flicker, maybe uh, off form. Tension. Then. Flicker's off form. Too much tension in his, in his fingers. Unbelievable. He doesn't like to lose to certain people. That's right. Now I've got a moment with the camera on my own. Now he's gone. I could say anything I wanted to, really. Well, then. It would be cut out, obviously, but you know, that'd be fine. Um, what you didn't know during the game, he was actually wearing a hairband to keep his hair from his eyes. You mean this hairband? Making it look very pretty. Should be banned. You can't be serious, Dave. I'm serious. You cannot be serious. I'm very serious. Anyway, next game. Next game up then, Reading against Dynamo Dubbins. Dynamo Arena looking busy here and a, the Division 2 champions facing off Reading who just missed out on the Division 2 playoffs. Clearly probably out for venge vengeance today at the Dynamo Arena. Let's see how they play here. Oh, LaFondra there jumps in. You can't do that. Nubbins now plays it out from Spencer. Spencer moves it across. Burns. Oh, can't quite get a touch on it. Burns has knocked it wide. Ready now coming forward. There's nothing really on that really there. But uh, the goalkeeper there taking it quick. And he's moved it forward. He's found Burns. What a long ball that was. Quick reactions. Quick goal kick. No chance to set up. And Burns has stuck it past Alex McCarthy in the between the Reading sticks. And they won nil up. Oh, tried to play a back pass. It's gone horrendously wrong. Simon Church at the end. Oh, Simon Church. No wonder you got replaced by the Pog in the end because that is just woeful. Reading now trying to come forward again, working it between them. Gareth McCleary trying to create something. Moves it forward by Karakan though. Jem Karakan shoots. Oh! I think that's it, the post. Goodness me, it's so hard to tell in some beauty of games sometimes. It's not that fast pace at short range, but he's, he's unlucky there. He's got to be unlucky. Nubbins now. Oh, last ditch. Couldn't defend. Couldn't defend from Carl Booth. And there's a shot here from LaFondre. Controls it first, shoots, and it's a goal. It's a goal. It's 1-1. Adam LaFondre, who else would it be? He slots that, and that's a wonderful finish. The Dynamo defence are nowhere to be seen. Here comes now. He's a. Uh, oh, it's close from Simon Church there. He really needs to pick up his game, though. Reading play. Oh, and he's headed the ball there, but he uh, is Mack enough, but he can't quite get there and get it on target. Nubbins now, though, coming forward. Witten plays it across, but it's easy for McCarthy to get to. And shoots, oh, very close indeed. Burns nearly getting a brace here. Moved it though. Controlled by Burns, has been a fantastic target man this year. Looking for the space. Bell comes from the middle now, knocks it forward. He's got Bell still with the ball and a shot. Oh, that's a good save there, keeping them in it. But Redden have come straight back and the Fonder is in the bar. He's bounced back down and he's cleared so close to going over the line, but no cigar. Dying moments of the game now, plays it forward. Spink comes in, Spink has scored! It's 2 1, Nubbins taking it at the end. Well done, Dynamo there. Greg Spink there with the finish, lethal from the left wing, and Nubbins are going through. <laughs> Last minute winner! <laughs> Uh, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely finish there. It was a lovely finish. Uh, what Reading were doing on that throw, I have no idea, but no marking. I think they were pushing forward and uh, hoping to score a goal on the break. They had the chances, didn't they? To be fair. They did have the chances, hitting the post a couple of times. Just the shooting boots aren't there for the player today, are no, they? It's not there no. for the flicker. I know. What is? Why has he got such tired, tired 
fingers and tired wrists. It can't be age related, can it? I don't think it can be, not but it might no. be age related, who knows? But if it peaks up. No. Dynamo can be happy with that one. I think so, yeah. Advances yeah. to the semi finals. Yeah, a good start from, from Dan and Nubbins. Uh, took Reading by surprise with, with the straight from the goal kick to the striker two touch goal. Um, which we don't like to see, really. Some can just say it's ingenuity, though, isn't it? Reading are all forward. The goalkeeper sees, sees a lack of it's defenders, football, then. pulls it's, it up. It's there. all part of the game. It's just not the beautiful game. But it's the effective and efficient game. Exactly right. So, Danimo were more efficient on the day and more effective on the day. Should we say that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah some might have called them orange buggers. Steady. Right. Now, though, right at the end, saving almost like the best to the last, we have got the game of the day, and it's Chelsea against Leeds United. But before we do go to the game, what we will do is just to show you how it is done at all times, is we're going to go to the coin toss and show you how it works. Tossing hands. I'm heads, heads, for home. heads I'm Chelsea, tails on Leeds. Okay. 1970 all over again. Stop mentioning it. Oh, gosh. Heads. Heads on Chelsea. Pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Give the coin back, first of all. Well, that's the coin toss done, and the players have decided which team they are from that. Now, what would you say if now, if you look at the defenders having a chat with Carlo Cudicini there, and it'd be very interesting to see what they say, of course, being the hero from penalties in the last game, but really making some bad decisions that almost cost them the game in normal time. Leeds United there in the huddle there, having a conversation, having a chat, looking like uh, David Batty of all players is leading that one. Nigel Martin there in front of his own end. Nigel Martin in front of the Nigel Martin stand. Does it get any more poetic than that? Couple of changes for Chelsea with Hasselbank coming in and Dewberry coming in at the back. Leeds looking strong though, playing the same lineup as it is as it is last week. And what a luxury that is to have. A, to not have to change to 11 it would be very interesting now what will be going through this referee's mind Chelsea and Leeds old rivals and he's really going to have a game on his hands you'd think today of course with time constraints I'm very unable oh that's a goodness me we'll have to put a pin in that thought he's absolutely lapped him oh goodness me look at that Batty's getting stuck in he's fired up for this referee needs to sort that out Batty receiving a yellow card and lucky to be on the pitch there. But with Wise getting a yellow card as well. Oh, that was that was a poor challenge, but Batty looks absolutely fired up for this one. It's already tense in the ground today. It'd be very interesting to see which way this one goes. Oh, there's another bad challenge. My God, it's the turn into the battle of the bridge, is this? Oh, that was a was that a nick on Radaby as well? The defender, the referees wave play on. Chelsea shoots, oh and he's not connected, what a start to this game, referee having to have a word there, who's he talking to there, I think it might be Alan Smith, but speaking, oh there's another bad foul, John Terry lunging in there, he shoots, oh, advantage play on McPhail going close, Terry going in the book now, my goodness me, there's three cards in, in the opening 10 minutes, Oh, this referee, we, we mentioned he might have a game on his hands, but this is unbelievable. Leeds now advancing forward. Oh, he's played it well. Smith there lined up at the edge of the box. Is a shot? But that's well defended there by John Terry. He's really got a stuck a foot in there. Knocking it over the crossbar. Cudicini plays the ball out, and that's a lovely... That's a lovely bit of play. That moves it down to the side. Petit has a shot. Emmanuel Petit has scored. It's 1-0. Look at that. He's, oh, he's devastated. He's furious at himself as the Leeds United competitor there. But look at that. The Chelsea players are running towards their fans there. No, Chelsea. I'm not sure what's going on with this goal kick. Cudicini's played it out. Jubri of all players has fumbled. I don't know what's going on. He shoots. It's 1-0. What was going on with that goal kick routine? Trying to play it out from the back. And Bridges sticks one in. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, look at that. The player is absolutely he's thrilled with himself. Oh, and the Chelsea player is he's devastated at that mistake. What was he doing? 
Well, the halftime whistle's gone here, but there's some choice words from between Terry and Batty there, and it's all kicking off now. The referee's in there trying to calm this down. This game is boiling over. It's really, really getting there. Smith's trying to drag the players away, trying not to get involved. Terry's giving a mouthful to the referee again. And look at this at the side of the pitch as well. Is the Chelsea manager's getting stuck in? He's really not happy. I tell you one thing, I'll be very surprised if this game finishes with 22 players on the pitch and the way it's going. He's hopefully the second half it'll calm down. But, but these players are really fired up for that. Oh, that's a good shot. Batty just missing there. You can see him there looking on at the goal. At the goal. He's, you just can't seem to keep him out of this game. Played across now. Smith trying to chase the ball down. Not quite managed it there. Chelsea tried to make a foul over his court. His advantage play on. And that's a wonderful save by Cudicini. That is a fantastic save. Tipping it onto the post and wide. Cudicini now with a goal kick. Albany's played it straight to a Leeds man who's got no way in, in danger at all. Boyer plays it forward. He's looking like Bridges is trying to control it. And he does. He's turned it onto his foot and shoots. Oh, that's so close, but wait a second. There seems to be an argument there. Has it crossed the line? We don't know. Oh, the Leeds the lead, the lead players are celebrating. Look at that. Kuehl's run over there. He's celebrating. The Chelsea players are furious, and they're compounding and hounding the referee. It's nowhere near, is it? It's absolutely nowhere near. Well, the VAR checks come back and it showed quite clearly he's bounced down onto the goal line and come out. Well, let's have a closer look here. Yeah, there's no goal there. The referee has not awarded the goal and the Chelsea players are happy, but the Leeds fans are furious. Not happy about that one. Chelsea now moving the ball forward. Tries to get in touch or Hasselbank. Desperate working for the ball there. He's got Zola on his right hand side. He's got support as he makes his way forward. Oh, Zola moves forward. But Radibi's done a very, very good job of closing him down there. Martin plays the ball upfield. Boyer knocks the ball down. Plays it through to Kuehl. Kuehl shoots. Oh, that's well saved by Cudicini. Oh, Kuehl normally scores from that angle. Oh, he's not in touch at all as a goalkeeper. He's just hit the post and gone out. He's, oh, he must be no, so close. And that's full time, though. That is full time. The whistle has gone. And it's a penalty shootout. Terry having a word with Cudicini there. What must they be? I wonder what they're saying here. Is It's not his first time. This is twice in the space of two weeks that Cudicini's had to deal with a penalty shootout. But the first time for this man here, Nigel Martin, who's going to be doing it in front of his own fans at his own end. Unbelievable. Coin toss now. Tells it is. What are you doing? Shoot first. Oh, and there's some antics there. For I think that was punishment, and that was penance for last week. And Chelsea will shoot first. Martin now. The first goalkeeper in. What is he going to be thinking in this moment right now? What must be going through their minds? Chelsea fresh on penalties. Leeds now though. Really going to have to pull it out here. Hasselbank to shoot first for Chelsea. Martin now doing his best to put him off. Which is very uncharacteristic behaviour from Nigel. He's normally such a calm and controlled man. Hasselbank gets ready, sets himself up, and it's a goal. Oh, that's lovely. Down straight into the bottom left corner. Ian Hart now getting ready to take the penalty for Leeds. Hart lines himself up, shoots, and Cooney Cheney's tipped it over the bar. What a save! That's a tremendous save. He stood strong, moved to his right, knocked it over the bar. Here we go, shoots all wise. You can always rely on him for the penalty. That's lovely. That over the top of Nigel Martin. Here we go, shoots. Oh, that's a good goal. 
Well done, Alan Smith, converting there. Oh, the shoots. Oh, that's a good goal again. Chelsea keeping the pressure on. Zola converting. And that's a good finish there. Leeds keeping the pressure on. Now, that's a lovely penalty. Cunicini going the wrong way. Marty now must be feeling the pressure. And he shoots. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Goodness me, that was close. Frank Lampard has hit the bar. Oh, goodness me, Frank. Over 200 goals for the club. They never mention it, do they, the Chelsea fans? And he's missed. Oh, well converted. Keeping the pressure on here. Keeping the pressure on from Leeds. There we go. John Terry stepping up for the final penalty for Chelsea. What must he be thinking now? Captain's penalty. And he shoots. Oh, he's rolled it in. It takes some swagger to do that and some confidence. Here we go, the last penalty. What must Bridges be thinking? Shoots! And Cooney Cheney stood strong and he's tipped it over the bar! Chelsea have won another penalty shootout! The champions are out! Leeds United are out! Chelsea advancing now to the semi-finals and would you think they might have one hand on the cup here? Well, a slightly depressed Christopher to finish that game. How bad did you want that? It's really hard. I can't play as Leeds and not win. And against Chelsea, it's not about the smooth show. It's about the whole ethics of the world. The bottom lip is the ethics of the world. <laughs> yeah. So look at you looking There's for no justice in the world. Looking ever. for looking for plastic figure revenge against Chelsea for 1970, and it's just that happens. Really. I mean, yeah, you've been John Terry. Right at the end of all players. Shooter. I didn't want the penalty shooter. I knew I'd lose on that. Okay, so let's take you back to the start of the game. Let's, let's start the game. Let's take you back to the start of the game. Let's do that. So we've, <laughs> Leeds really, really strong there, really. But is it? Is it another another case of shooting boots missing? Shooting boots missing. I mean, particularly. I mean, oh, yeah, shooting boots missing. Plenty of chances in open play. Uh, came from one 0 down. Great equaliser. Last minute of the game. Just wide. Kewell mess, yeah. Well, fluffing the chance, hitting the side netting. Side Not something netting. you expect from Harry Kewell, especially in round about what would you argue his prime years back in back to the eternal anyway. I can't even play Harry Kewell really. I, I must have thought I'd like to. I can't play Harry Kewell. I was blaming myself. I'm taking full responsibility for that <laughs> shocking <laughs> miss at the end. <laughs> Penalties, though, it seemed like you had a bit of a theme going there. Um, what, missed two? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a regularity thing, but he's... What is the strategy of a lot of the time you seem to be knocking it down the middle and not to the sides? Is that strategy or is that just it's poor play? I mean, it means to hit the sides, I mean the middle. So remember discussing I, I as well. I stand my player back, I flick him. What I think is an angle, I think it's straight to the keeper. So we we always discuss as well about, about practice, you know, practice making perfect and uh, you know, repetition is the mother of all mastery. But when you when you went away last week and you went, I'm going to practice penalties. Did I? Did you practice penalties? I didn't, no. I've been too many decaling your teams for you. And a mighty fine job of them as well. Carry on that one going. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so a bit of a battle though. But I tell you what, in play, let's talk about the undisputed man of the match, David Batty. Wanted that from the... From he wanted that, yeah. yeah. Um, harsh booking for um, taking on John Terry and the rest of the team early doors and including the referee. Um, but no, Batty wanted that. Definitely wanted that. He deserved that. He was next up for a penalty. But maybe he should have gone earlier. Maybe he should have gone earlier. He's, uh, well, you know, repeatedly questioning the, the line of the penalties throughout that, wondering where Batty was going with the form he was in. He was waiting for the uh, decisive penalty after the first five had gone in. <laughs> <sighs> Not to let's be moving on quickly. Well, yeah, moving on, but uh, well, let's talk about the goalkeepers very quickly. Yeah. Not to be for Nigel Martin at the Martin end. But Cudicini Lightning striking twice, not only with an absolutely terrible goal kick to set Harry Kuehl through near the end, and also arguably causing the problem for the first goal again, which they must look at. But, insane, pulling, out, but pulling it out of the penalties, he's, what's, go, what's going on with him? It seems to be the same, the same things. Zero hero once again. That's an idiot. <laughs> and that's, that's your detailed analysis for this game. No, no that, that's unfair, probably. <laughs> But yeah, just the penalty hero. No one likes to see that, really. 
<laughs> least the people do. <laughs> least the draw is um, yeah, for the semi final is unsponsored, but we use a website called fixturelist.com that works out the rounds for you. And in the semi final, the first semi final we've got coming up next week for you is we've got Chelsea featuring against Burnley. Predictions? Chelsea. Chelsea, do you reckon? Or yeah. if it goes to the penalties, third time lucky maybe? Yeah. Or? The, the momentum of that victory over the Super Leagues um, has probably carried them through to the final. Do you fancy Chelsea then, do you? For them, I don't yeah. fancy Chelsea, but I'm just saying the momentum might carry them through. <laughs> and Aston Villa take on Dynamo Nubbins in the other semi-final. And predictions for that, once again, we talked about Dynamo Nubbins last week, about, again, Aston Villa in the second division as well. They seem to avoid all the big teams so far. Yeah, maybe their name's on the cup. There's a chance. Yeah, there's always a chance in the cup. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's the magic of the cup. I guess if the name's Timpsons, it might be on the cup. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> drop his other. <laughs> <laughs> right. So join us next week where we've got Chelsea and Burnley, and we've got Aston Villa against Dynamo Nubbins because it's just two games. We won't do one game of the day. We'll have extended highlights for both of it. I've been Christopher. I've been Davidson, and we shall see you next week. Get it the day. Game of the day.